to share with you the polishes that are on my summer nail polish rack for this year. I've got a lot of really beautiful ones. And by a lot, I mean a lot. <laughs> I went overboard. Shocker. Um, I probably have 60 plus polishes for us to look at today, which is a ridiculous amount. But if you're not new to my channel, you know that I might not get that far <laughs> away from actually being able to wear that many polishes this season. I change out my nail polish pretty much every day. Uh, although I'll say in June, I've worn polishes longer than I ever, ever do. I've just had some really gorgeous manis, including this one. This is one that is on my nail polish rack today. So we will check it out here in a little bit. But man, isn't it stunning? I just love, I love summer and summer colors and nail polish, summer nail polish. <laughs> um, but if this is your first time joining me here on my channel, hey, hey. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, this is actually a collaboration video, if you, if you didn't already know that. I have down in the description box links to all the participants collaborating with this video theme. Um, there are a lot, um, and I can't wait to see their videos. Actually, most of them are going to go up tomorrow because technically the collab is tomorrow, but y'all know that I do my live streams on Friday, so I was like, hey, y'all, is it okay if I do mine on Friday? Because we're going to be out of town tomorrow anyway. And they're like, sure. So, yay. Um, so, yeah, we're going to take a look at 60-ish nail polishes, all beautiful, amazing, summery colors. And then we are going to look at them swatch on a swatch wheel. Here's a little preview for you. So many pretty ones. Hey, Caroline. Hey everyone, man, so many people here. I love that. Yeah, lots of gorgeous colors. Um, if you can't tell, I love my brights. I actually, I started pulling my summer, sorry, I'm getting logged on to my laptop um, so I can see the chat a little better because it comes up on my phone screen while I'm doing this live stream, but I'd like to be able to see it better if I can. I know, Krista. <laughs> Too many, but here we are. Um, but I am, I started pulling these polishes about a month ago, just as I was putting stuff away and like looking at my collection, I was uh, looking for stuff to catch my eye. Hey, Kathleen. Hey, Sarah. Um, and so many did. <laughs> Over 60. <laughs> And so as the month has gone by, I've like put away some and gotten out others. And most of these are untried for me. I went crazy with the purchases last summer. So, and just last year in general. So I have a lot of untrieds and I want to get as many of them on my nails as possible. Um, and I realized after I pulled, you can see I have such a pretty rainbow of shades and we're going to look at them in rainbow order because I do everything in rainbow order. <laughs> look at all the pinks. <laughs> um, but I realized at the end, like last week, I was really craving a white Crelly with like bright glitters. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't pull a single neutral shade for my rack this season. <laughs> it's all brights. So there at the end, I pulled three non-bright colored polishes. <laughs> That's enough, right? Um, but Thank you all again so much for coming. I'm really excited to take a look at these with you. If you haven't already given this video a thumbs up, consider it. If you haven't already subscribed, consider that too, because we have a lot of fun on my channel. I do some live streams here and there, but I also do a lot of swatching for um, both indie and mainstream brands, um, upcoming collections that are coming out, favorites videos, lots of great stuff. So let's jump into the polishes, yeah? We've got so many pretty ones. So first one is this one from Zoya. This one was on my summer rack last year. It's called Selly, I believe. And it's a really pretty like tomato red with a gold. It's almost like a micro flake. They're like very large particle shimmer flakes. And this was on my summer rack last year. And I didn't wear it because one of my people that I follow on Instagram wore it and showed her nails after. And oh my goodness, she had some of the worst staining I have ever seen. 
<laughs> after wearing this polish. And it takes three, took three coats to build up to this color. And I feel like I could add a fourth coat just to get it a little bit deeper. Um, so I'm surprised it stained her nail so terribly, but I'm kind of scared to wear it, but no time like the present. I'm going to be brave this year. <laughs> So that's the first one, Zoya Selly. And if, as we were going through, if I mention any of your favorites, because like I said, a lot of these are un untried. So the rubber band indicates it's an untried. Um, let me know, because maybe that means I'll try to get on my nails a little bit sooner. Hey, Wendy. Welcome, Sonia. Hey, Christine. Um, this next one is an OPI polish. It's one of the few OPIs I have on my rack this season. Actually, I guess I have three. <laughs> Three out of 60. That's not bad. Um, it's called Dutch Tulips. This one I grabbed because my mother-in-law said it's her favorite OPI shade. And when a woman in my life tells me that she loves a certain color, I was like, well, I have to have it. Um, so I put this on uh, my rack. I'm hoping to get around to it. It's like a pinky red. It's really, really pretty. And it had a great formula shocker. It was basically a one coater. There it is right there. Really, really pretty. Then the one beside it comes from Cameo Colors. Here it is. It's called My Treehouse is on Fire. This is one I purchased really recently, about a month ago, and I was just taken by the brightness of the base, the hollow flakes, and the shimmer. That is my absolute favorite finish. <sighs> So I actually, when I got it in the mail, I was like, man, I think I'm going to have to wait to wear this until winter time because it kind of was giving me like, I don't know, my mind was in a wintry, wintry space. And um, I told my friend Carolina that got a love polish and she was like, no, you can totally wear that in the summer. You should totally wear that in the summer. And I'm so glad she said that because now I can't not see it as a beautiful, bright summer polish. My goodness, that is gorgeous. And I love like a saucy red for summer like so sassy <laughs> love that one this one is from static nails it is called when in madrid and it is a juicy like cherry classic red it's so pretty um i have like four I think static nails polishes and I am so impressed with them. The quality is fantastic. Are they expensive? Yes. So I won't be purchasing from them anytime soon unless they have a sale, but every polish I've tried so far from them has been a two coater. Literally the formula couldn't be easier to work with. So if you haven't tried that brand and you're looking for some fancy creams, maybe you want to treat yourself or someone you love. I was, I've been impressed so far. Then I put on my rack some peachy-ish, corally, I guess, not peachy, corally reds. And once we get down to pinks, I think I showed you already, I have a million pinks. So some of those kind of lean red, but I did the best I could with Rainbow Order when it comes to 60 polishes. <laughs> this one's from Kathleen & Co. It's called Don't Follow. It was available in April of 21, 2021's PPU. Um, I don't even remember buying this. <laughs> I don't, but I am glad I did. It looks really beautiful. Apparently, I have a, a type. I like my reds to have <laughs> gold shimmer because here we are. They all do. <laughs> this one even has hollow flakes as well. So that's telling me that I must really be vibing with that this season, the red and the gold. If I pulled already a few of those, but you can see this one leans quite a bit more pink than... Um, the cameo colors. It's almost like a watermelony shade. Um, it looks just gorgeous. So, so pretty. So here's what that looks like on the swatch wheel. Hey, Carolina. I think it's beautiful too, Krista. I'm so surprised I got it, but I love it. I think it's gorgeous. I don't have that many Kathleen and Co. shades. Um, so I'm looking forward to wearing that one. And then this next one comes from Lollipop Posse Lacquer. I believe it's an untried as well. I didn't put a rubber band on it, but I think I should. This one is called To San Antonio with Love. It came out in May, January, February, March, April, May, June. <laughs> June, I should have known that because it's June right now. June 2020 polish pickup. Um, and it's another kind of bright, pinky, corally shade with... Um, 
super shifty flakes. It actually reminds me a lot of a polish that I wore this past May, Speo, Speo from Polished for Days. Um, but this one's a little bit more jelly in the base. There's what that one looks like. And I love how gorgeous those gold flakes look in that base. It is so, so pretty. So I actually am surprised. I'm really drawn to reds. I love warm tones. Um, but this year I didn't pull nearly as many as I usually do. Only four like true reds. So I'm curious to see. I don't stick always to the polishes that I pull. I try to, but if I'm really wanting another red and I've worn these already, I'll get another one. So I'm curious to see if I stick with this or if I end up grabbing some more. Then I pulled quite a few oranges actually. I love oranges. This first one comes from OPI. It came out in last year's summer collection. It is called PCH Love, Sh Love, Shong. <laughs> Love Song and it is like your primary orange with a gold shimmer. Wow. Okay. I am... <laughs> As I'm talking to you guys, I'm realizing a theme here. I guess I'm really feeling the gold um, contrasting uh, shimmer this month, this season. <laughs> um, but this one I was instantly drawn to. I love oranges. The formula looked great in the videos I saw. So another one I'm excited to wear for the first time. I wish the shimmer was a little bit more prevalent, but that is kind of to be expected when it comes to mainstream brands. I will live with it. It might be a pedicure color. <laughs> and then I have another gorgeous flaky. This one comes from Lily Pad Lacquer. It's called Flaming Wild Dog Hair. Flaming Wild. It came from August 2021 Polish Pickup. This one I didn't purchase in Polish Pickup. Um, I got it in a mystery bag that I purchased. And in the bottle, it looks insanely gorgeous to me. It's so bright and the flakies are incredibly glowy. Oh. But when I swatched it on the swatch wheel, I was surprised that it was kind of sheer. I'm, I know I'm going to have visible nail line with this one. So I'm debating and you guys will have to let me know what you think. Should I put it with PCH Love Song? Like as a topper, I think they're a close enough match where that would work out and it would give me that opacity because I think if I try to put like a white undie under this, like um, Polished for Day Snow, their blurring base coat, I think it's going to change the color and I'm not going to want that because I love that orange color. You think so, Christine? I think that's a good match. So, and that'd be one way to get like two polishes, two for one. <laughs> okay, you've convinced me. <laughs> It didn't take much. Thank you all. <laughs> um, and then I was drawn to another orange flaky. This one comes from Wildflower Lacquer. Um, it is another untried. They're pretty much all untried spoilers. Um, spoilers. Why did I make it plural? Um, this one actually came out in the um, 12 Days of Sparkle and Shine Advent Calendar with Wildflower Lacquer and Nailed It Nail Polish. Um, so it was a winter release, like a Christmas holiday release. But I saw this and I said, um, that's not Christmas to me. <laughs> I don't wear orange around the holidays. Um, so it it is a gorgeous, like bright red leaning orange with really glowy flakies. Um, yeah, I saw this and thought instant, instant summertime. This one, same kind of thing. Um, it was sheer than I was expecting it to be once I put on the nail wheel. Um, so I'm a little bit like, hmm, should I layer it over something? Should I just add a fourth coat? Because maybe there's so many flakies in here that they'll give me the coverage I'm looking for. I'm on the fence with that one, but it is a gorgeous shade. And I love, I debated getting rid of one of these from my rack because I was like, do I really need, the base colors are so similar. Do I need both? But the flakies are so different. These are so warm and these are so green, pink, purple, pretty. <laughs> then I have another Zoya. This one is Amy. I think I got this in a D stash, um, but it was on my list of Zoyas that I just wanted to have in my collection. Shocker, it has a gold shimmer. <laughs> I can't believe I did this. I went through my rack before and like kind of as I was watching these, do I want to keep these? Do I want to put this one away? Okay, Rachel, decide between these two because they're really close. Apparently, I didn't look at finish because here we are. Um, this one 
is gorgeous. It's like super shimmery and just lovely. And I think it could be gorgeous in the fall too. So if I don't get around to it, I will probably keep it on my rack for fall because I love oranges in the fall. Now I'm wondering, maybe I shouldn't have put it here. Oh, well, maybe I'll get in the mood to wear it. I do have a type <laughs> this summer. Ooh, that's a good idea, Sarah. They are a good match. Then again, I could have two. Ooh, and I'd have the shimmer and flakies. See, this is why I love doing this live because it's so fun getting to chat with you all. This next one <laughs> needs a good shaking. I've tried, but I have not been effective. It comes from Moonshine Manny. It's called On the Flip Side, another untried. This is a dupe, Project Dupe It Polish for China Glaze Flip Flop. <laughs> Let's try that again. Flip Flop Fantasy. There we go. And I have the new Flip Flop Fantasy, but I don't have the original. And I think this one's duping, obviously, the original because the color is different. Um... When I swatch this on the swatch wheel, I don't know if it's my bottle, but it's like really separated. I tried so hard for like a full minute to shake it up and was not successful. And I haven't had this polish that long, like only a few months. So I'm surprised it's acting kind of wonky. It might just need a little bit of thinner, um, but it was a little bit thick on application too. It is not coming up at all color accurate. It's like got a lot of pink undertones to it. You guys have it? Pedicure color. Sarah, I can so see that. This would make an amazing pedicure. Um, especially if the formula is a little bit tricky, because I know the original Flip Flop Fantasy was, um, then perfect excuse to wear it as a petty. So pretty. Okay, that's promising, Sarah. I might just need to add a little bit of thinner. And then I kind of have three orange creams in a row here. <laughs> okay, they're pretty color accurate, except for this one. The next one comes from Essie, and I don't have too much Essie on my rack this season. Um, this one, <laughs> this one um, is called Souls on Fire. I believe I had this maybe on my spring rack. I can't remember if I had this one or the other um, Essie I had, but regardless, it is a really pretty bright, fun orange. Um, it's like a bleach neon. I really like this color. So it's right there. It's maybe not a bleach neon. It looks brighter in the bottle to me than it does on here, but that's because it's by Flip Flop Fantasy. I bet you're right, Christine. She is. She seems so, so nice, like the nicest person in the world. Um, and then the last orange cream I have on my rack comes from Orly. It is Kitch You Later. This one... I don't know. I think I, I think it came out in a summer release. I know so many people love Orly and I don't follow them as closely, but if you remember, let me know. To me, I was almost on the fence about putting this on my summer rack because it just didn't feel bright enough compared to these other orange shades. Um, it's just a little bit less pow pow. Um, so I almost didn't, but I was like, you know what, transitioning from summer into fall, I like to kind of keep that in mind too, as I pull for my summer rack. Um, this might be the perfect shade. So it's that one right there. The formula was outstanding, outstanding, fully opaque in um, two coats, I believe. So really impressive on that one. Pretty much all of these, I think I did two coats, except for ones that really obviously needed um, a third. The ones I felt like I couldn't get like a real feel for what the polish looked like unless I added an extra coat. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Good to know. I think you're right, Christine. The one that like happy camper 70s kind of thing from last year. Was that last year? I don't know. Me and time. <laughs> Couple more oranges. This one comes from Paint It. Pa pa oh, gosh. All these alliterated names. I'm struggling. Painted Pretty Polish. Um, it was... I guess the painted pretty polish of the month. I was assuming that's what that stands for. I don't follow this brand super closely. In fact, I think this is my only bottle from this brand that I have. This came in, um, released in August of 2021. And this I got in a D stash and I was so excited to get this in, in the D stash because 
I don't have anything from this brand. I love Caitlin Swatches, and she shares this brand all the time. And I've been like eyeing stuff, but I just haven't taken the plunge. And so it just felt like kismet when this came in the mail. I was like, yep, it's meant to be. Um, and it's so interesting. It's got that bright orange base and then lots of turquoise, glitter, square, and hex. It's got black, square, and hex turquoise glitter. It's got micro glitter and purple shards, iridescent shards as well. It's just so weird and I love it. <laughs> I have very few glitter polishes on my rack because just in general, my favorite finishes are usually creams, hollows, well creams. Why did I say creams first? Shimmers, hollows, shimmers with hollow. <laughs> um, sometimes creams and flakies and then everything else is after that um, but this is so pretty I love it I know uh, I totally need to get more on um, on my uh, wish list for PPU coming up soon Shana because they look beautiful um, and I agree Sarah artificial orange is beautiful beautiful I had it on my rack I took it off because I wore it as a pedicure last year and I was like I need to give some of these untrieds a chance but man I might reach for it again it's not too far from my my nail desk <laughs> Um, this one is from Glam Polish. It released last year. It's called Aries. It was part of their Greek gods collection, maybe. And it is such a weird color and I love it. <laughs> it is. Okay. And you'll have to tell me if I've just lost it here, but the base color reminds me of when you mix ketchup and mustard together. You with me? It is that color. It's like an orange but it looks like ketchup and mustard together. I don't know. And then it's got a strong shimmer that shifts gold to green and then hollow glitters, I believe. Um, and I just, I have nothing like this. I really, really like it. It's that one right there. I think this is the only time I've ordered from the Glam Polish site. They make some gorgeous polishes, but they make a lot of glitters. And like I said, I'm not super drawn to glitters. So... When I saw this one, I was like, yep, I must have that. It's so fun. So fun. <laughs> All the shiny things. Amen, Christine. I do too. I, I mostly use creams for pedicures for the most part, but every now and then I'll put them on as a manicure. Last week I wore Cirque Colors Gossip um, as a manicure, but then I added a topper so I could have some sparkle. <laughs> it was wonderful. Um, this next one's from Colorista Carol. It is called the Cuckoo Clock of Doom. It's an untried too because I'm scared of it. Just like Selly. <laughs> These are both alleged terrible, terrible, terrible stainers. I know it's worth it, but I'm scared. Y'all, I'm scared. This whole collection, I have almost the entire collection. Um, I forget what inspired them, but it's some kind of Halloween something. I remember that like something scary. Um, and they're all like muted, gorgeous linear holographics. And they all stain you something awful. And I haven't worn a single one because I'm scared. <laughs> but isn't that beautiful? Like it is begging to be worn. That is crazy. Hey, Alexa. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. So pretty. Lemon Sucker from Hollow Taco. You know, I don't have that one, but I'm curious to uh, I'm curious to see a comparison on that. I wonder if this would be a little bit deeper, like a little bit more saturated. And one reason I'm so drawn to it, because I have other yellow ho hollows. I have Fun Shine Smoothie from ILNP, but it, like hollow pigment where it's silver, it like just doesn't look right with the yellow. Like it kind of makes it lean like a little bit like just dusty and like muted and it doesn't look vibrant. But this one is so like loud and like boom and pigmented. And I love that <laughs> even though it's going to stain so bad. The next one is an old school wildflower um, and untried. And this one I got from a... Uh, D stash as well. It's called Meadows of Gold. It came out in the Shimmers, uh, Shimmer into Spring collection. This was before I followed Wildflower Lacquer, as you can probably see. <laughs> really, 
vintage label there. Well, not really vintage, but older packaging. And it is a, there you can see all the flakes. Ah, it's got gorgeous iridescent flakes, really pretty shimmer, and just the sunniest, happiest yellow base. I love a good yellow. They're so fun. You have it, Christine. Oh, that makes me so happy. I love that. That's my favorite thing about these videos is they remind me to get out polishes that I just haven't, you know, worn in a while. Um, here's what that one looks like. And it's so just like bright. Like this one's like a sunshine yellow. This one's like, I don't know, it's not neon, but it's like, oh, it's so uplifting. I absolutely love, love yellows, love this shade of yellow specifically. It's fun. And then the, nope, I have a couple more yellows. <laughs> the next yellow, daffodil. That is the perfect descriptor, Christine. I love that. Ooh, that is a good guess. Have you tried that method, Christine? I, Christine, Carol, <laughs> Caroline, I'm curious. It does look amazing. I'm always on the hunt for vintage wildflowers because there's so many amazing ones I missed before I got, got into the game. <laughs> Um, this one comes from Indie Polish by Patty Lopez. It's called Paradise, and it came out in 2021 um, HHC. It's an untried. This is one that I purchased, and wow. <laughs> when I saw, I forget his name, Absent, I want to say it's Absent Alves. Um, when I saw those swatches, I had to get them. Uh, this polish. It is incredibly beautiful. It's like more of a primary yellow, a little more muted than the wildflower, and it's got green to gold shifting shimmer and brilliant hollow flakes. I was surprised when I applied it because a lot of the swatchers that, um, a lot of the swatchers that were featured when this polish released had much longer nails than me, and I didn't see too much visible nail line. Um, I was surprised when I applied this on the swatch wheel that it had a pretty sheer formula. So I think this one might need some undies or it might be a great candidate for the soft focused based coat from Polished for Days. <laughs> but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous polish. Same, Krista. I can't get enough. Give me the shift. Give me the hollow. That's like the perfect combination. It makes me so happy. <laughs> wow, Jessica, that's a lot of yellow. It's perfect for summer, though. You couldn't have picked a better better time of year. Or um, yellow is great for for fall too, though. Like mustardy yellows. This is the second SE, the second and final SE I have on my summer rack. Is check your baggage. I think this is the one I put on my spring rack. Um, it's another untried, and it is a very orange leaning, um, almost like pastel yellow, maybe even a yellow leaning orange. It's a very unique color. So that's what it looks like here. And I think this is another one that I'd be interested to wear um, closer to the fall time, where it's not super bright. Um, it's bright, but it's not crazy, crazy bright. <laughs> and then the last yellow I have in my rack, another untried, is from Loud Lacquer. This is my only Loud Lacquer polish. And I feel like they have so many amazing polishes. If you're a Loud Lacquer fan, you'll have to let me know what you recommend from them because I always consider buying, but I never do. Um, this one I got in a D-stash and it's called Nay Nay, I say. And it is like a bright primary yellow cream. <laughs> Formula for this was amazing. <laughs> there it is in two coats. It was so perfect. Pretty much all of these yellows were really great formulas. Oh, Christine, you're so right. <laughs> it is just like, um, just like mac and cheese. <laughs> Y'all have to try that. Um, uh, Caroline, that might help. Thank you for the suggestion. I'll give it a try too. If I do, I'll let you know and see if it works. Fingers crossed for both of us. <laughs> Um, and then I was so surprised. I have a good amount of greens on my rack this year. Last summer I was um, hating on greens, so I didn't have very many. But this summer I have a, a good amount for me. And a good amount of them are 
polishes that I've worn before I just really enjoyed and wanted to wear again. This one's from Night Owl Lacquer. It's called Feroche, and it came out in May of last year's Hella Handmade Creation Shop. It is a gorgeous neon green with flakies that are iridescent. They look like they mostly shift gold to green. There's a little bit of orange in there, too. It's so, so so pretty. This was on my favorite polishes of 2021 rack. So I didn't pull very many polishes to wear again this year because I mostly, like I said, wanted to get around to my untrieds, but this had to be worn again. <laughs> uh, I think this is two coats. That's why I loved it so much. The formula was perfect. It had so many flakies. I wish Night Owl Lacquer would do a whole collection of this kind of polish. Neon with these flakies because she did this formula really, really well. Static base coat. Oh, the, I know what you're talking about. Um, Car Carolina. I love that base coat. I'll have to try that. You know, now that I think about it, I, um, have been having really good luck with staining since I've worn that. So I bet it's helped me too. It's the bees knees lacquer spirit base coat. If you all want to check it out, it's really good. It's newer. Um, then this is another green that I've worn before. It comes from Colores to Carol. It's not none tried. It's called Tiki Beach. And it came in last year's um, polished pickup shop. It's another bright green with flakies. Kind of the same-ish vibe from the Night Owl Lacquer, but a lot more muted. Um, this one's a neon. This one's not. It's bright, but I don't think it's truly a neon. Um, but yeah, this one's really gorgeous as well. I greatly enjoyed wearing it. So here's what that one looks like, and you can see it beside Feroche. It has warmer flakies. I think I am too, Krista. It's been my go-to. So pretty. And then even more green flakies. <laughs> this one is Lollipop Posse Lacquer, now Garden Path Lacquers. They rebranded last year, and it's called The Speed Out There. This came out in... 421, January, February, March, April. <laughs> April 2021 polish pickup. And it is a gorgeous bright green with, wow, look at that flash. Lollipop Posse Lacquer slash um, Garden Path Lacquer rocks my world. I love their polishes. Uh, but it's got a gorgeous pink flash and flake set shift pink to gold to copper. And I just love how that contrasts so beautifully against that green base. I swatched this back when I hated greens <laughs> and it made me question it. I was like, hmm, maybe I like greens. <laughs> it's beautiful. This next green is an untried. It's a purchase um, from this year. It's from Scufflaw Varnish. And this is my first polish from them as well. So if you're a Scufflaw fan, woo -woo. <laughs> um, this one's called the Chia Pet Conspiracy. And I still don't know what the inspiration was for this polish. I tried Googling it, I think, and I couldn't find anything. So if you know, let me know. Um, this came out in PPU, hmm, maybe February or March. It's recently. And it is a, oh gosh. See, when you don't like a color for so long, you get really bad at describing them. This is like, reminds me of the artificial key lime pie <laughs> green. <laughs> Not the real deal. That's like kind of like yellowy. This is like the fake key lime green flavored yogurt <laughs> shade. <laughs> oh gosh. And it has lots of glitters in there. It's got some green glitters that are kind of tonal with the polish hex and micro. And then it's got blue as well. And they appear to be holographic. So really fun polish. I'm so surprised I wanted this because it's green and it's glitter and that's not me. But this polish, I was like, I, I think it was one of the only ones I picked up that month. I was like, if I don't get this, I'm going to regret it. So I'm going to get it. I pick it up monthly. <laughs> you make me feel so much better, Shana, because <laughs> you would think, you know, at, at our age, we'd be able to do it. Ooh, shamrock shake. That is good, Rachel list somewhere of all the rewind polishes. They do that every year, Jessica, but last year I was waiting a long time to see that list. So I feel like it still might be a little bit. Um, there are in the PPU group spoiler threads for both what's going to be available in the maker shops 
and the uh, PPU site if you haven't seen that. But yeah, I had to go through and screenshot. <laughs> I am going to do a video, but it's going to be kind of a hodgepodge of what I have because um, some of the polishes released before I started swatching and collecting. So I don't have those because um, the makers don't send all of them. Um, they some some do, some don't. So but I will do a video for what I do have politely. Ooh, that's a good choice, Krista. That one was so fun. Yeah, there's some really good rewinds coming. I'm excited. Yes, they'll come out with a blog post. Yeah. Um, this next one is from Wildflower Lacquer. It's called, Do You Suppose She's a Wildflower? And I think I swatched this when it came out in last year, August, maybe? Sometime. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's August. I did. I was right. Um <laughs> And I didn't like greens. I think I passed this on to a friend and then she had purchased it and sent it back to me. And I was so glad because I was like, you know what? Actually, I decided I wanted this. I did not want to give it up. So thank goodness I have it back in my life. It's so pretty. It's a bright grass green with shimmer that shifts purple to gold to pink. Um, it's super shifty and really fun. I love colors like this. I have... Mm, okay. I don't want to give too many spoilers, but I will say if you like this one and you missed out, this one's not too, too far off. Wildflower's next collection, which is the way it weighs away, uh, has this one coming out. Life finds a way. So if you missed out on this one, the base colors are close. The shimmer is different, but maybe that makes you feel better. <laughs> Bees Knees Lacquer in their next collection has a green as well. That's kind of similar in this color. So keep an eye out for those. And then the last true green that I put on my rack is another purchase. This one's from Polish. It's called Toxic Jungle. And it is a gorgeous bright green base with large particle shimmer that's just blue to gold to green. Actually, I don't think I see gold in there. I think I just seen green and blue. It is bright. Another one that when it originally released, I was like, ew, no. Green, no. And then I was like, okay, Rachel, just accept it. <laughs> you like greens. It's okay. <laughs> Go greens, Krista. They're fun. Yeah, like that's really weird. I love it. And in the bottle, I thought it would be kind of close to wildflower, but you can see on the nail, this one has a lot more yellow in the base than the wildflower. I love polish too, Leah. They have some gorgeous shades. I have a lot of their polishes on my rack for summer. <laughs> They're one of my favorite brands to shop from. Um, next up, we have a China Glaze. We're kind of continuing with the greens, but I have a lot of greeny kind of tealy shades. This one comes from China Glaze. It's not coming up at all color accurate. It is Head to Mojitos from last year's summer collection. This was the only polish I picked up from that collection, but I'm I'm kind of questioning if I should grab all of them. I told myself I have enough of the other shades. This one felt truly unique to my collection. The pink and the yellow, I was like, I have those from other brands, so I don't feel like I need it, but I heard they were remarkable. Um, but this one, it's coming off a lot more just muted on camera it's much brighter in person it's like a neon jungle green maybe i don't know green descriptions are not my strong suit clearly yellow leaning greens oh i think red hair is so pretty krista i would be drawn to greens if i had red hair as well Ooh. I need to peruse the polish site. I haven't been there in a little bit. I know they raised their prices a, a bit and I was like, kind of like, oh no. <laughs> um, but I love their stuff. It's always gorgeous. So pretty. This next one is also a rewear. It comes from Cuticula. It is called Giselle. It came out in the Enchanted Collection last spring. Um, this is actually, I think, still available on the Cuticula site. At least it was before they went down yesterday. Um, they're back up today though. And it also is coming off a lot more muted and on camera in real life. It's a lot greener and a lot brighter. Um, but look at those flakes. <gasps> so beautiful. So beautiful. 
It's just a gorgeous, bright, flaky polish. And the flakes just pop in an incredible way against that base. I couldn't resist pulling it again for uh, summer this year. This is only two coats. I would wear it in three coats because more flakies is more fun. <laughs> Are more fun. <laughs> but I love that one. The next one's another untried from Polish. This one I got in a D-stash. It came out in the Tangled Tinsel box bag something on Black Friday 2017. That was way before I started collecting indie polish. Um, and it is like a muted teal with um, shifty flakes and maybe platinum micro flakes, I think. It's really pretty and interesting. I do feel like this one's coming up color accurate. I was surprised though when I applied this one, it was quite sheer, quite sheer. So this one would be a three coater for sure as well, but I loved how this one looked. Another one that would be great transitioning from summer and to fall. Your favorite so far, which one, Heidi? The uh, Giselle from Cuticula or the Polish um, Tangled Tinsel? <laughs> And then this next one comes from Sinful Colors. You like it, Chana? I think it's pretty. I'm glad I got it. It's I kind of just grabbed it on a whim. They had another polish I wanted, and they had that one. And I was like, I'll get it because I love polish. <laughs> this one is Sinful Colors. This might be the only Sinful color shade. No, my sister gifted me a few. Um, but it's one of few Sinful Colors polishes I have. Um, it is called turnt quoys. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said didn't say that oh man I'm getting my words confused I'd be lying if I said I didn't get it a little bit just because of the name because turnt quoys is hilarious to me <laughs> um, it's calling out pretty color accurate too it is a bright turquoise with a super soft um, maybe glass fleck or silver shimmer there's not too much of it in there. It's not very noticeable. And this is part of the sheer matte collection. So it's a jelly polish and it dries down matte. And I put it in here with the, the idea that I'm going to layer it, that I'm going to wear it as a sandwich. And I already know which one I'm wearing it as a sandwich with, if not multiple. It's coming up in a second, but it's pretty on its own. I did add a top coat on accident, but it dries down to a really pretty matte finish. It's cool. Oh no, Sarah, I hope you're able to find them sometime. I thought they were really unique. And at that price, I was like, yeah, we're going to do it. Even though it's sheer and matte, I want it. <laughs> the next one is a favorite. I've already worn this polish. It released last year. It's Wildflower Lacquer, Buenos Amigos. And it released last year in April 2021, Hella Handmade Creation Shop as part of the Selena Revisited series. I've already worn this polish three times and it came out last year. <laughs> what else can I say? <laughs> you can tell by the label, this polish has been loved. I love it. I love it. It is such a beautiful, like, oh, just uplifting, happy Bright turquoise base with shimmer that shifts pink to gold, and then it's got all of these hollow flakes, and it's just, it's happiness in a bottle. This was on my favorite polishes of 2021 list, and it might have been my top pick. I think it had to have been, because when else do I wear a polish three times in a year? So I will be getting that on my nails this summer. Part of me is like, you should save it, but I'm also like, no. <laughs> If it makes you happy, you need it on your nails. I'm not good at saving things. Oh, it's your fa your first one ever, Jessica. What a good first polish. Yeah, it's beautiful, Christy. And same, Christine. I have such a soft spot for that color family. It's just perfection. And it actually, they had a accident version. <laughs> this one called Buenos Accidentes is the oops version and it came out this year and I wore this last week I wore it for uh six days six or seven days which for me unheard of I don't think in my life except for pedicures I've ever worn a polish for seven days yeah it's like a little bit greener and it has more hollow flakes <laughs> they are very different Jessica I thought they were going to be the same when I ordered it 
I thought it was like just going to be more flakes because she said I, she put too many flakes in, Taylor did. And then I got the bottle and I was like, oh, these are completely different colors. Um, the shimmer is the same, but this one's so green and uh, I loved it. I love this color. I don't have anything like this. And I feel like I have bases similar to this, but I don't care. This one's perfect. I love Buenos Amigos. And now I love Buenos Accidentes. And then the last one I kind of have that leans green comes from Sassy Sassy Pants Polish. This one's called Witch Please. And it came out in a little box of Horrors Box, I think, in April. I think. Um, and yeah, there we go. March. Um, it is so sparkly. This I saw and I was like, yeah, that's going on my nails this summer. It has flakes. It has hollow glitter. It has shimmer. And it is everything sparkly and beautiful. I think I only have two polishes from, from Sassy Pants. I need more. I need to go to their site and see what they have on their site. So there it is right there. <laughs> Tell me that's not gorgeous. <sighs> I think it's beautiful. So I am going to layer this, sandwich it with the sheer matte, um, the turquoise in full colors. And I tried it on a swatch wheel and it's uh, amazing. It's so pretty. This one's gorgeous enough to be on its own, but it looked really cool as a dilly sandwich. So I am looking forward to that mani. So pretty. Mm. I'm so sorry, SH. I don't know any, um, I don't know of any dupes for it, but I'll kind of keep my eye out and look at that polish again and see if I can find something because that's a bummer. I hate missing out on stuff. It's your favorite, Sarah. It just screams summer to me. This is what summer is. It's all of these happy colors. And then now we're getting into more like bluey turquoises. <laughs> More aqua -y maybe. Um, this one's from Hollow Taco. It's called Hydro Power, and it is a linear hollow, and it's gorgeous. Her, I don't, I'm not like an avid Hollow Taco person. I don't collect all of them or whatever, but if something catches my eye, I'll get it, and her linear hollows are amazing. They are really pretty, really pretty. I've not been disappointed with one yet. So it's that one right there. It's just so bright, and the the finish is, the hollow is ridiculous. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I'm really glad I got that one, and it's an untried, too. Yeah, it's good, Christine. The formula was beautiful, too. This is two coats. It was fully opaque. Love that one. And then the next one comes from Night Owl Lacquer. This one is called The Polished Mage. And I'm so excited that um, I'm live with you here. And now that Trish is kind of back or coming back. If you guys didn't know, Trisha, Trish, Polished Mage. I'm just going to call her Polished Mage. I love her videos. And she took a break to have a baby. And now it seems like she's on her way back. She's made a few videos, so if you haven't checked them out, you should go check them out. But this was a collab, like a custom I think she made with Night Owl Lacquer, and they made some extra and sold them on their site. And um, I bought it because it's pretty. It's like a bright, bright aqua with silver holographic micro glitter, and it's so pretty. I love it. I love it. It's that one right there. Hey, you don't need to be scared here, here, Invader Jill. We love what you love. I love that everybody loves different things. I think that's awesome. Yeah, that one's really sparkly. It did dry down a little bit texture. Danger, danger swatcher. <laughs> she was a danger, danger swatcher to me too, Christine. I made many purchases because of the polish mage. <laughs> she does. She makes excellent polishes and... I don't know. You can't be a hater. You can't just blanket hate. It's not nice. This next one comes from Polish. I have a lot of Polish. <laughs> um, it's called Whole New World. This one, I actually made a huge purchase. This came out Black Friday last year. It came out with a giant 
giant collection of Disney inspired polishes. And I do really like Disney. I'm not a fanatic of that either, but I like it. And uh, especially the songs. And they were all named after songs. <sighs> and I got a bunch of them, like oh, way too many of them. Enough to get all of the <laughs> free with certain amounts of purchases, polishes. I spent way too much. Um, and I didn't get this one and I had major regrets. So I bought this maybe two months ago and it's inspired by the little mermaid and it's amazing. It is a bright sky blue with these crazy like sparkly flakes. Oh my gosh. I saw people's swatches and I was like, I have to get that. I have to get that. And I'm so glad I did. <laughs> Sometimes our instincts are telling that, telling us that for a reason. And you know, if we don't like it, we can always de-stash it after. Speaking of de-stash, if you are not following my, if you have an Instagram account and you're not following my Instagram account, you should go follow my Instagram account because I'm going to be doing some de-stashing here pretty soon. I think in the next couple weeks, I'll probably do a mystery um, bag kind of thing. Um, and then after that, I am going to post individual polishes for sale. I'm doing the mystery bags because I have probably over 200 polishes to de-stash. I swatch a lot of polishes. Um, so go follow me there if you want. It is Ray's D stash, the at sign, and then Ray's R A E S D stash, D E S T A S H. I hope I spelled that right. <laughs> um, but yeah, lots of stuff is going to be posted here this soon this summer. Maybe some of these lemmings, but none on my summer rack more than likely will be there because I want to wear them. <laughs> this one comes from KB Shimmer. It is called Harbor a Crush. This is an older KB Shimmer Cream. Um, I got this from Beyond Polish, and I'm excited because I love KB Shimmer Creams. They don't come out with that many anymore, but the ones I've tried from them have been amazing. I tried one that released in the same collection, Board Shorts. It was a bleach neon pink, perfect two-coat opacity. Perfect two-coat opacity. So I'm very excited for... Uh, to wear this one. I think it's a pretty color. Pretty shade of blue. Very soft and happy. Like this with a holographic topper, like a holographic flaky topper. Yes. <laughs> oh, you did, Sarah? I've been eyeing it. It looks... Oh my gosh. Did I say Little Mermaid? <laughs> You're right. It's Aladdin. <laughs> See, I am not a fanatic. I never watched Aladdin. It's inspired by Jasmine, I'm sure. I'm sure it's inspired by Jasmine. Thank you for catching that because I probably wouldn't have caught that mentally ever. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes, the I uh, ILNP collection looked amazing. Amazing. I didn't grab any for that because I've just been on a no buy, not intentionally, but just I just haven't wanted anything because I look at this rack full of untrieds and I'm like, I don't need any more. So if I can resist, I've been resisting, but that will all come to a close. Polish pickup rewind time. <laughs> Another polish that I got, this was the same release as A Whole New World, um, is For the Love of Polish Box Rewind Sleeping Atacama, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. This was one of the... Uh, polishes that made its way back for that release and it is a more like saturated blue with a green shifting shimmer green to blue shifting shimmer and hollow flakes it's so 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 pretty um where is it <laughs> there it is it's that one there and I'm just loving the blues this season I can't get get them off my mind. I want them all the time. Especially in that finish, shifting shimmer and hollow flakes. The next one's a cream. It comes from Zoya. It's called Dory. This one I think I bought because of loopy frog nails. I did some Zoya videos and was like, let me know what I need to get. And I think loopy frog nails and a lot of other people said this, Dory. 
And I'm glad I got it. It is a really pretty cornflower shade of blue, like really pretty. On the swatches I saw, and I must not have looked very hard. I was like, eh, it looks, you know, take it or leave it. No, in person, this shade of blue is whoa, beautiful. And I think it's one of those shades that will just look, I mean, every every shade looks great on everybody, but it's one of those shades that just would look amazing, I think, on every single skin tone. It's beautiful. You love it too, Sarah? I'm glad I got it. Oh, bird love paint. If you can do that, I bow down. Because <laughs> three per month, that is a challenge. That is a serious challenge. I think a whole new world doesn't get stuck in my head because I don't know the words to that one. I never watched Aladdin that much. I think I saw a couple um, at a couple times, but the ending scared me. So it was not one of the ones I watched. <laughs> this one comes from Ethereal. It is called Sidra. And this was a September 2021 mystery, Night Court mystery. And it is a linear hollow. When I got this, um, I don't know. I was like, eh, I'm not super excited because although it's a pretty color, I was like, I think I have stuff that's similar. And I was thinking it was going to be close to this hollow taco, but I don't know if you can see. This one is more muted than the hollow taco. The hollow taco is a lot brighter. And this one's more of like a softer, dustier blue. They're both beautiful. Youngin. <laughs> that's me. That's me. Pocahontas was more up my alley. More my age group. Mulan. <laughs> um, but this one's really pretty. Where is the swatch it wheel? There it is. Look at that on the nail wheel. So pretty. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> You, wait a second, Jessica. You like Aladdin more than the Little Mermaid? Little Mermaid was my thing. I was, I was bananas for Little Mermaid. It was my favorite, everything. I dressed up as Little Mermaid. I did the seal walk around the house. I wrapped up my torso in a blanket or the lower half of my body in a blanket and did the seal walk around the house singing Little Mermaid. My mom has it on video. <laughs> <laughs> that one, Little Mermaid, Pocahontas, Beauty and the Beast, mm, Mulan. I'll say are my favorite. And recently, more recently, Tangled. Love Tangled. Um, this one comes from Noodles Nail Polish. It's called Long Time No See. And it came out in last year's summer collection. I purchased it towards the end of summer, so I just didn't get around uh, to wearing it. But it's like a cornflower blue with a green shimmer and holographic micro flakes. And the swatchers, I think it was like K. Danielle. Her nails are beautiful. I need to look up her handle. But um, when she swatched this, I was like, yeah, I'm getting that. I don't know if I'm getting that right now, but I'm getting it sometime. And it's that one there. It's kind of deeper. Another one that would be really pretty towards the end of summertime, but all those hollow flakes and just that gorgeous bold blue shade. Oh my gosh. So, so, so pretty. Yeah. Tangled is amazing, Julia. I'm so glad so many of you all love Tangled. It's such a good one. The music is ridiculous. And Mandy Moore has such a beautiful voice. If I come back in another life, I want a voice like Mandy Moore. Please, please. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And then this one's from Night Owl Lacquer. This one is an older one. It's called Drupal's Best Blowing Gum. And Night Owl Lacquer gets me on their site because they put how many polishes they have left. And I've purchased a lot of polishes because of that. <laughs> I saw this one. I was like, oh, but I wanted some from this collection because I've heard it's a great collection. Um, I wanted some from this collection. I didn't have any, and it said like one left. And I was like, I will get that final polish. <laughs> um, but it is a uh, kind of, mm, I want to call it cornflower, but I don't think that's right. It's got purple shifting shimmer or maybe purple micro flakies and holographic flakies. It's real pretty. Really, really pretty. It's that one there. That's two coats. I think I should have gone in for three, but it's got less, less purple in it than the, um, 
Noodles nail polish. It's really beautiful. And then another polish. <laughs> so many. This one is called Drop Top Slay. And this came out in the Christmas and July collection last year, which I think I bought all of. I spent way too money, much money again um, on those. But it is a gorgeous mid-tone blue with a purple shimmer and holographic in there. And wow, it's just so sparkly. <laughs> It's honestly amazing. Look at that. So, so pretty. Like, I think it's scattered hollow, but it's got so much of it in there that it looks linear. Oh, I can't wait to wear that. That might be my next manicure. I like Jungle Book too, Heidi. The songs I loved in Jungle Book, but I um, loved princesses when I was little. And there were... There weren't, were there princesses? Any? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I think that held me back on Jungle Book. <laughs> you all are funny. Um, this next one comes from Polished for Days. And I'm realizing I think this is my first Polished for Days that I've had on my rack. That's crazy. Um, this one's called Cascade. And it came out in August 2021 Polished Pickup. This I got in a mystery bag. I think they did like a mystery bag sale last year. The polish site did three polish pickup HHC, something like that, overpours. And this was one of those. And I like it a lot. It is super, super vibrant blue base with really incredible flakies. This one was a lot more sheer than I was expecting, so I think it's going to have to go over a blurring base coat if I want to avoid visible nail line, but <sighs> it's pretty. <laughs> On a lot of polishes, that would make me want to de-stash it, but this one, the flakies are just so tremendous. I think I'm, it's worth an undie. It's totally worth on having to wear an undie. Oh, yes, I loved Belle. I think I held back on Alice in Wonderland because there weren't songs. I loved songs. I was very, a very picky child, I'm realizing, about my animated movies. <laughs> Why should a child be so picky? Um, and then the next one is from Fan Chromatic Nails. And I... Uh, this brand's been a while, around for a while. I don't remember which YouTuber it was. It was someone who doesn't, I don't think, make YouTube videos anymore. But I remember years ago seeing reviews for collections for this brand. And I feel like they kind of fell off the map or I just didn't really hear much about them. And I've always been drawn in because I just think their label is adorable. So cute. And then this brand... Uh, is participating little box of horrors or they have been maybe for a while and I just didn't know and I got to swatch this polish for little box of horrors and I really liked it it's called no peopling allowed <laughs> um and it is a gorgeous like bright blue with shimmer it's very sheer very sparkly it just reminds me of water and this is another one I will probably wear as a jelly sandwich it's that one there it's very sheer, and I just think layering, this could be perfect. Alice in Wonderland has lots of songs. I need to watch it again. <laughs> Maybe I just haven't watched it enough, because I don't remember any songs from Alice in Wonderland. Aw, that's so cool, Krista. I didn't know you were a first soprano. Look at you. <laughs> that is something to brag about. I will never be a first soprano. <laughs> Oh, gosh, I'm an alto, maybe a second soprano. Those high notes are not my forte. Um, up next is Polished for Days. Kiki, do you love me? This came back last year uh, for PPU Rewind. Yeah, it even says in the bottle. I love that. Um, and I grabbed this then, and I can't wait to wear it. I've heard amazing things about this polish, um, and it looks so beautiful. So beautiful in the bottle. It is that one there. It also was a little bit sheer than I was expecting, but I think in three coats I should have it fully opaque. But look at that shifting shimmer. The glow is out of control. I like that. Really beautiful. 
really, really beautiful. Lots of altos. I love that. Go altos, go altos, go, go, go altos. I think the alto part is fun. <laughs> I love harmonizing. I just think it's fun. <laughs> um, up next is KB Shimmer. I got a crush on blue. This I got in a D stash. Um, and it was like a mystery D stash. And I was really surprised because it's an older polish. Um, and I wasn't familiar with it. And it isn't a polish I would ever purchase knowingly because of all those glitters. Um, but it's so fun. I'm so glad I got it. It's a really beautiful, bold blue base with all sorts of sized silver holographic glitters. It's so dang sparkly. Um, I don't know. Something about this just reminded me of like jewels and water, which don't necessarily go together or say anything about summer, but I'm just telling you what I see. <laughs> I love that, Christine. Oh my gosh, look at all of us altos. That's so fun. <laughs> I love it. I always kind of wanted to be a soprano, but the harmonizing is just so fun. It's so fun. Oh my gosh, I love Encanto. Carolina, I need to watch that again. It's been a minute. I'm excited. Soprano, middle school choir. I love it. Oh, that's interesting, Krista. I feel the same way about myself. I think a lot of people, my voice is higher pitched. And so a lot of people assume I um, would be a soprano, but maybe I should be, but my range just isn't very good. <laughs> Those high notes. No one wants to hear that. Um, it's challenging. <laughs> the next one's a rewear. I don't have very many of those. So I feel the need to point it out because it says a lot if I decided to put it on this rack um, because I typically try to wear the untrieds before I rewear ones I haven't worn before. But some polishes are just too pretty to pass up. This one comes from Bluebird Lacquer. It's called From Here to Eternia. And it came out in maybe November 2020 PPU. This came out in the first PPU I ever purchased from. Um, and I love this polish so much. I've worn it twice too, which says a lot. Um, and it shows a lot of visible nail line, especially at this nail length. My nails have never been this long before. I know I'm going to have visible nail line and I don't even care because the flakies are so pretty. I love this one. Oh, Jessica, I'm so glad you love Bluebird. Their, um, yeah, their polishes are just so, so beautiful. So beautiful. Almost didn't show you the what it looks like on a swatch wheel. And this one always reminds me of like seaweed in ocean water. I love that combination. It's so weird. <laughs> Little mermaid. Yes, I can see that, Julia. So gorgeous. And then the next one is a cream that kind of needs to be shaken up. <laughs> This one comes from Cirque Colors, and it is One Night Stand. It came out in last year's Vice's collect Vice collection, and it's like a blurple. I know some people really hate that word. <laughs> An indigo, I'm sorry. Um, in some lights, it looks blue. In others, it looks purple, and it's really bright and fun and pretty. And I tried to resist getting this polish, but I'm glad I grabbed it. But I haven't worn it yet. It's this one here. It's quite deep, actually, but it's just so bright that I, I can't resist wearing it sometime this summer. Like, that's fun. That's a fun shade. And I recently wore um, another Vice Collection color, and I had so much fun layering a holographic flaky top, top coat over it. I think I'll probably do that with this one, too. Earth Day. I love that, Carolina. Blue and green always makes me think of Earth Day. <laughs> Do I? Because Bluebird makes some amazing polishes. They just always like the formula and finish. I just feel like they're always really well done. And she makes a lot of finishes that I really love. Here is another polish for days. And this one's a rewear too. It's called 
Oh gosh, I would pick this one that I can't. Octaya. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it is a beautiful ultramarine blue with flakes that shift pink to orange to gold. And I feel like I have a lot of polishes kind of in this realm. I have a KB Shimmer. I think it's called Dawn to Earth from last year, summer collection, spring collection, that I almost put on my rack. A Wildflower Lacquer that its name is escaping me that has a similar base color to this and similar pinky shifts. And I wanted to put all of them on my rack. Um, so I was like, I might end up wearing all of them, but I made myself narrow it down. And this is the one I decided to keep since I've worn it least recently, but I think it's so pretty. I really love that purple leaning blue base with those pink flakes. Oh, beautiful. And then the next one, I'm already loving it. Shimmers are just it, y'all. <laughs> they do something to my heart. This one I have been craving wearing for so long. And it's another one that is a tried. I've worn it maybe twice. Um, but I had to get it out again. It's called Abjuration. And this one was one of my first purchases from Bees Knees Lacquer. It's one of the polishes that made me fall in love with the brand because it's so bright. The base is beautiful, but the shimmer and the shimmer is so vibrant and it's so shifty. And I think this was one of the first shifty shimmers I put on. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, how does it look this color in this lighting and that color in that light? I was just like, oh, <laughs> And that was the moment I fell in love with Bees Knees Lacquer. Um, this one's going to be super sheer in three coats. Because um, I remember when my nails were very short, I could still see a lot of visible nail line. But blurring base coat, here we come. Because it's amazing. Amazing. <sighs> I'm so excited. I'm excited. Bees Knees makes some amazing, amazing shifty shimmers. <laughs> hey Beth I love that greeting <laughs> oh my gosh um the next one comes from Orly and it is synthetic symphony and I held off on getting this for so long it's untried I held off getting this for so long because I just don't have that many Orly's and I just kind of try to stick with the same set brands I collect from because it can be overwhelming you all know or you don't know. Maybe it does not overwhelm you. But it kind of overwhelms me sometimes. All the releases and collecting all the polishes. It can be expensive and it can be stressful to keep up with everything and FOMO and all that. So I just don't follow Orly that closely. But I've seen so many people wear this. And I was like, okay, I have to have that polish. I have to have it. It looks amazing. No, People won't stop talking about it. So I got it and I can't wait to wear it. It's like I'm saving it at this point because I see it on my rack and I'm like, oh, I want to wear that. But I'm like, not yet. It's not the right occasion. <laughs> I don't have anything special planned. I can't wear Synthetic Symphony yet. <laughs> you have it uh, on your rack too, Sarah? I love that. Yeah, if y'all have racks, summer racks, let me know. I'm curious because I didn't start making seasonal polish racks until um, I started on YouTube. And it's been amazing. Um, I don't know if I would have had one otherwise, but I really like it. It cuts back on stress because instead of looking at my several hundred polish collection and trying to pick polishes, I look at these 60 and decide based on this. And that is much less overwhelming. It makes me... And then checking off the boxes when I wear the ones that are untried, it just makes me feel like, oh, I accomplished something. I like that. <laughs> Ooh, it would be a cute petty Christine. I love that that purple color. I don't have anything like it. Um, this next one is from Ethereal Lacquer. It's called Leo, and it was a monthly Zodiac polish in August 2021 to celebrate the Leos. And I collected all the polishes in my big three astrological chart. I like astrology. I think it's fun. Um, so I got the Capricorn polish because I'm a Capricorn sun and I got the Leo polish because I'm a Leo rising and then I got the Cancer polish, which I don't think I have um, on my rack. But I got the Cancer polish because I'm Cancer moon. So I wanted those 
very badly. And this one is beautiful. And I want to wear it during Leo season so I can just feel fabulous and embrace my inner Leo. <laughs> I have not counted in a while, Jessica, and I need to because I feel like it's blown up there. I have way too many polishes. My goal is eventually to sometime do a nail polish like tour, like a nail room tour because I have a room for my nail polish, but I just want to get it a little better organized first. I need a few more, um, a few more drawers and then I think I'll be good. Yeah, but isn't it beautiful? I'm glad you like it too, Krista. It's such a happy shade. Like it's bright and super saturated and I feel like it has shimmer in it. Oh my gosh. I love it. And hollows are just, I mean, summer and hollows. They go hand in hand, salt and pepper, you know, perfect. I'm so happy you guys do seasonal rack too. They're so fun. It's fun to have... I don't know. I've started incorporating it into my clothes too and like other things I do. I haven't done makeup. Now I want to do that. Um, this next one, and it's my last true purple, which is crazy. Then I have a whole bunch of pinks. <laughs> Comes from Nailed It and it's called Sunset Sparkle. This came out in, oh yeah, the For the Love of Polish box, um, which is with Wildflower Lacquer. And the guest maker was polish that month. Um, beaches was the theme. And this one is supposed to look like a sunset. And I just love the bright purple base. The flakes are super shifty. I love Nailed It. I actually was looking at my Nailed It collection because I think this is the only one I have on my summer rack. And I was like, really? Because I love Nailed It. But I was looking at my Nailed It collection and I have a lot of like grays soft white shades from them. Like a lot of the colors do not strike me as summer shades. So I need to change that and get more bright nailed it because their flakies are ridiculous. They're so, so, so pretty. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at it in the, in the sun. <laughs> the like pink flash of the flakes. Oh my gosh. I love it. Yes, yeah, Sarah, they are so beautiful. I didn't know you do seasonal makeup, Carolina. I need to do that. I don't even know if I would know how to approach that. I don't think I have enough makeup, but I need to. It is so beautiful. I don't know if you got that one, Carolina. I hope you did. I feel like you get most things that are wildflower lacquer, so fingers crossed. <laughs> um, and then I have a bunch of pinks. I guess technically this one is a purple, but in my brain, it is a pink. It is Purple Panic from China Glaze. This is another untried. And it is like a neon Barney purple. Not old Barney, but like new Barney. You true Bar Barney stands no. Barney the dinosaur. <laughs> old Barney is like purple, but new Barney is like pinky, right? Um, this is like new Barney neon version and it has fuchsia there we go it has blue shimmer running throughout and it just looked too beautiful to not get I think it was on a super sale somewhere maybe Sally's sometimes those Sally's clearance racks get me if they have China Glaze or Morgan Taylor or OPI on sale for like three dollars or less I'm getting it I'm probably getting it but that's a really fun shade. I like the shimmer. And then the next one, I wore already. See, I had some polishes on my seasonal rack that I've worn because I've been wearing summer polishes for a month now. Sorry, I bumped my mic. I've been wearing from them for like a month now. So some of them I just set aside for my what I wore in June video that I'll do here in a little bit. But this one I wore last week, so I think I just put it back on my rack because I'd already swatched it on the swatch wheel. But anyway, it is Cirque Colors Gossip. This came out in last year's um, Vice Collection. Oh, I can't talk today, y'all. Last year's Vice Collection, and it is a purpley pink cream, and it's so bright. And I wore it with a hollow flaky topper, hollow glaze from DRK Nails. 
and it was amazing. I wore this Manny for like four, five days, which is not like me either, but it is so beautiful. It had a perfect formula. It was fully opaque in two coats, and that's with the not wide Cirque brush. I'm so excited they have wide brushes now. <laughs> have I, Sarah? That is the true, that is the true sign of a Barney fan. <laughs> <laughs> new Barney <laughs> yeah they made them pinker like my Barney toys from when I was a kid are purple but now the Barney toys seem to be more pink it's devastating <laughs> I love Barney who's my buddy next one purpley pink this one's from ILNP it's called party hat Woo -woo. <laughs> and it's a purpley pink with hollow graphic mm, I want to say flakes but they might be glitters I'm not sure, but I love this finish from ILNP. They can do it all the time in every color, and I'll probably buy a few of them because they're just fun, and I love I love dainty glitters and things that sparkle, and this is so, to me, like, classy but fun. I like it. The downside is they are pretty sheer. This is three coats, and I bet I'll have some visible nail line, but I'm okay with that. Because it looks, it actually kind of looks similar to Cert Colors Gossip, not the base color. I know those are different. What Cert Colors Gossip looks like once I added the hollow flaky topper, it basically looked like that. <laughs> so I could have just worn ILNP party hat, but it's fine. <laughs> it's really pretty. Yes, Julia, me too. They're always so... The new ones always look pink to me, the new Barney toys and things. And when I was a kid, he was like dark purple, dark, dark purple. Um, next is from MLF Lacquer. This one's called Pink Pigeon. It released in March of 2021 Polish Pickup, and I haven't worn this yet. That was a long time ago for me not to have worn this, I feel like. I try to wear stuff pretty soon after I get it, but... March of last year, that's a long time. So I need to get this on my nails, especially since MLF Locker is not in business anymore. It makes me kind of sad. Um, but it's a gorgeous, like purpley pink with purpley pink flakes, maybe purple orange flakes, and then it's got a blue shimmer. Ooh, and holographic too. It's that one right there. Looks kind of less um bright than some of the other ones I picked. Yeah, they made some beautiful polishes, Christine. I was really surprised when they announced they were closing. <sighs> really pretty. Yeah, they are different, Carolina. You are correct. The other ones were a little bit um, bigger and more noticeable and probably a little bit rainbowy or two. This next one I'm so excited about because it was a lemming for me for a while. It's from China Glaze. It is Monster Piece. And it is a pink holographic polish. It's so pretty. It reminds me of She's So Extraterrestrial from the Hall. No. Um, no. Was that linear? Y'all, my brain. I'm struggling. I think I have it right here. Boom. Yep. You're wrong, Rachel. <laughs> linear scattered. <laughs> anyway, a scattered version of She's So Extraterrestrial. That's pink. So not at all similar. But anyway, it's got gorgeous hollow. I wish China Glaze would just do hollow stuff more. More hollow. Because I always love when mainstreams do hollow. And China Glaze has really impressed me with their hollows. Um, like for their summer collection, I wish they would have just released a whole hollow collection. I know, know they've done it before. They need more. Give me more. I love them. Um, but this one is such a bright, fun, pink, scattered holographic. And it dries down flat, easy to remove. I love. I couldn't believe I didn't have this one. And then I saw someone swatch on Instagram and was like, I need to get my hands on it and had a hard time finding it. But I think I found it on Trans Design, maybe. I don't know. But I'm so happy to have it now. Hmm. Pink makes me happy. This one was on my spring rack and I didn't wear it. It is China Glaze Strawberry Fields. And it has gold shimmer, <laughs> like everything else on my summer rack. <laughs> Just kidding. We haven't seen that in a little bit. Um, but it's a pink with gold shimmer. 
and it's really pretty. And I actually realized I have a lot of polishes like this. Zoya Lilani is almost an exact dupe to this polish. Um, Koki has one that's almost an exact dupe to this. And I was like, how come I've bought this polish three times? <laughs> I have a type. But it's a beautiful polish, so I haven't de-stashed any of them. I'm like, I'll, I'm sure I'll get around to wearing them eventually. You have this one? It is so pretty. It's just like such a bright, fun color. Mm, I like it. Strawberry Fields. It's one of your favorites? I didn't know that, Carolina. That makes me want to wear it more. Yes, I love Scattered Hollow too, uh, Julia. Oh, oh Sarah. Leilani is so beautiful. Leilani. I think people say Leilani. Um, Leilani. Yeah. Um, so pretty. So pretty. Um, I put it on my summer rack too, I think. And then I took it off because it was close to that China glaze. And I wanted to wear that one since it was untried. But you're going to love it. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Um, and then this one from Polish came out in that collection the Christmas in July collection last year it's called deck the palms <laughs> and I love the names in this uh release this one's wild um another glitter which are few and far between on my rack but it's like a pinky red base with lots of holographic flakes pink hex and no pink circle and square glitters and maybe a little bit of silver too and some flakes this one's wild I love it. I'm going to have to wear this one sometime when I want to keep my polish on for a while. Because I don't want to wear it with a peel-off base coat and only wear it for a couple days. I'm going to really wear it. <laughs> it's so fun. I just love the brightness. Oh, love that. And then the next one, it comes from Olive Ave Polish. It's called Faye. I don't have very many olive av polishes, and I think I said that the last time. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> I am so sorry for your ears. <laughs> so sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> it happens, y'all. It happens. This one is olive av polish, which I don't have very many of, but this one's pretty. I want it in a giveaway. It is a pink base with glass wicks. It's pretty. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. <laughs> Bye, Krista. Thanks for coming. Thank you all. <laughs> all blessing me. I love it. It's that one there. It's a pretty shade of pink. This might be one that I wear closer to back to school season because this gives me back to school vibes. Like this kind of pink back to school, I might scare off some kindergartners, but this back to school pink, they might be like, you know, not so scared. <laughs> Oh, it's a pretty polish. Very simple. And then the next one is wild too, and I love it. This is Glam Polish The Last Jedi. When this released, I wanted it, and I thought it was pretty, but I didn't love it enough to pay full price for it, and then it came up in a D-stash, and I was like, okay, I love it enough to pay like $8 for it, so I did, and I really am glad I did because it's way prettier in person than I imagined. It has like a reddish pink base and then shimmer that is blue and holographic glitters. It's kind of in the same vein as Aries. Oh, the shimmer. It's so pretty. I like. Look at that. That's perfect for summer. So perfect. And then this next one, I'm on the fence about a little bit for this season. In my brain, it was brighter, but once I put it on the swatching wheel, I was like, oh, this is a little bit um, a little bit softer than I realized. So this might be a good transition one too. It's from Femme Fatale, and it's called Light of a Dying Sun. It came out in the White Witch Collection, Volume 2. I think it's older. But it's a really pretty, like almost rusty pinky red with gold flakes and holographic, scattered holographic. It is really pretty. But I think this is two coats, and I think it would look better in three. So I'm actually going to add a third coat now because I'm curious. I think that's going to make me love it because I haven't met a femme fatale yet that I have not loved. But I'm not loving this in two coats. 
Okay, I just needed a third coat. I was just trying to save polish, but if I don't love it on the wheel, because I keep my wheels with my summer rack, and when I'm trying to decide what to wear, I like try them all on and try to decide. And uh, if I don't love it on the wheel, I'm not going to wear it in real life. I'm not going to pick it. Now I'll probably pick it because that's real pretty. Ah, I'm glad I added that coat. Coat. Why did I say it like that? The next one is the one I have on my nails. Yee! <laughs> it comes from Polish. It's called Rudolph Sunburn Nose. And I love that name. I think it's so funny. And it's the, I, I was really thinking about this, y'all. This is how much I love Polish. I was walking my dogs today and I was like, you know, this is the perfect name for a polish because it tells you so much. It tells you that it's a Christmas in July polish because the sunburn and Rudolph's nose. It tells you about the color because it's red based like Rudolph's nose, but it has the pink like the sunburn. And I feel like some of the gold, like from the sun, I'm just really impressed <laughs> with how well this polish is named. Anyway. It should not be with the pinks, but here we are. It's like a reddish base with uh, like a bright rust red base with pink to purple to gold shifting shimmer and then holographic micro flakes. It's so pretty and such a weird combination of colors. Like I would have never thought to have put those together, but I love it. Like I think this Manny is fun. I've been wearing it for a day. and I like it. I really like it. Very bright and unusual. Then I have another OPI. This one is Strawberry Waves Forever. This came out in last year's summer collection. It is a pinky red with a gorgeous large particle shimmer. This is actually the first one I bought from last year's summer collection. I don't think I'm getting anything from this year's summer collection. I don't always get that many OPIs. I don't shop them all the time, but only if something stands out. But this one um, stood out to me because I just love the base with the, the shimmer. And I love that the shimmer was so noticeable on the polish. It's that one there. And it kind of has like a jelly finish, but it'll be fully opaque in three coats. That's beautiful. Then is another China Glaze. I have like five more, six more, seven more, seven. <laughs> This China Glaze is called 108 Degrees. It's an older China Glaze. And actually, it's very similar, I realized. After I swatched it, it's not that far off from the OPI. In the bottle, they look uh, closer than they do on the nail wheel, though. Um, this one has a deeper base. It's a little bit more purple-leaning. And um, yeah, the shimmer is not that far off, though. Yes, I agree with you, Lisa. I was very underwhelmed. <laughs> I'm like, really? Because I think it's just been a rough year for for OPI in general. They're almost caught it a Game Boy collection. <laughs> the Xbox collection, I was just like, mm, pass. And then the summer collection, I was like, eh, whatever. And then I saw the fall collection, and I was like, mm, I'm okay. I don't think I want that. Maybe when it goes on sale at TJ Maxx. <laughs> The next one is from Vapid, and it is called Tantrum. This one is a beautiful, bright pink linear holographic. It is so pretty. I just, I could wear this all summer. I really could. I could just remove what I have on and just put this on over and over at chips. I, I remove it and put it on again because these bright pinks just speak to me. They make me so happy. <laughs> Then the next one is from Zoya. It's called Sonia. This is not untried. I love Sonia. It's like a bright corally shade. It's not a pink either. Why did I put it with the pinks? No one knows. Because <laughs> I was probably tired after sorting 50 polishes and just kind of gave up. <laughs> so you can go here. <laughs> but it has a great formula. Two coats, fully opaque, and really easy to apply. And I just think this color is beautiful. Another one that's great transitioning summer to fall because the corally lean gives me kind of fall vibes. The next one I'm so excited about because so many people told me to get it and so I had to. It's from Morgan Taylor. It's called Spin Me Right Round 
and it's a beautiful neon pink. And I've heard the formula is amazing. So beautiful. Um, from what I can tell from swatching it on the swatch wheel, they were right. And I'm probably going to pass on the neon pink in this summer collection because they don't look that different. But it also looks very beautiful. But I just don't need it. So I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm having restraint. <laughs> Yeah, same, Julia. I like the idea of the collaboration. Like, I was like, oh, that's fun. That's really, you know, cute and different. But I just, yeah, I didn't feel like they were, the polishes didn't seem super special to me. Um, This one, I got the Xbox collection, but wish I hadn't. That is so sad. That makes me really sad. I'm so sorry. I hope you come around to loving them or find a use for them or can sell them or give them away because there is nothing more devastating than getting something and being like, man, why did I do this? <sighs> You've worn it, Sarah? See, maybe I should get it. If I go, I might go to Sally's and take my bottle of Morgan Taylor and kind of just see together what they look like because it's hard on camera to see the minute differences in the the colors. Um, this one's from Colorista Carol. It's called Booptastic and it came out in the 2021 Breast Cancer Awareness Box. Um, that's coming up again. So, you know, I don't swatch for it, but it, I, I remember someone asked me about when this happens and, oh man, who puts it together? Is her name Hearts and Promises? Maybe, I think. Um, but it's a big collaboration between a lot of different makers. They do it once a year and you can purchase the entire box, which is like 20 different beautiful pink polishes, or you can just shop them individually. And that's what I did. And I got this one last year and saved it all year for summer. It's maybe in August or September. I don't know. Um, you love it, Shana? Yay! Yeah, this looks so pretty. It's like a neon pink with blue and red glitters and silver glitters and holographic moon-shaped flakies. I'm in love. It looks so fun. It's this one right here. Ooh, Wendy, that sounds intriguing. I would like that too. That sounds so fun. And I bet Swatchers would be all about it. Clueless collection. You did, Carolina. I remember you saying that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you could put it in the poll. I'll vote for it because that sounds amazing. Um, this next one from Colores to Carol is called Sun and Fun. It's not an untried. I wore this one last year and I loved it. I actually wore another polish in this. It was a trio of pinks with this holographic thing, which I was just obsessed with the trio. It's Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Um, one of the polishes was swim and dive and it was like a corally one. And I wore that one a few months ago. Cause I just, I had to have something bright. This one, even though I haven't worn it, I'm, even though I have worn it already, it is like passing all of these untrieds because I just really want to get it on. It's so fun and super squishy. I love these polishes from Colorista Carol. She does them really well. The jelly with the holographic. Mm. There's some of my favorite. It's that one there. Oh, it's just such a fun shade of pink. Yes, the flakies are amazing. I want to see more of these flakies. They're amazing. And then I have three non bright, colorful polishes <laughs> because I felt like I should, in case I don't feel like wearing crazy bright colors. Although, honestly, that is what I'm drawn to in the summertime. This one is KB Shimmer Hexy Bikini. This was a recent ish purchase. I got it on Beyond Polish, I think. Um, it's a glitter bomb. I was really surprised I got this, but I think someone on Instagram was like, if you don't have this polish, what are you doing? Like, it's the best polish I've ever had or something like that. And I was like, what am I doing? I need it then. So um, I'll get it. And it's called Hexy Bikini. So I was like, I guess I'll get it and wear it in the summertime. It's really hollow. So I know it's going to be pretty in the sunlight, like all the sparkles. But I kind of feel like the colors are kind of like, I don't know, kind of holiday. It's blue and red, so it shouldn't be holiday. Blue and red and silver, maybe. Or just maybe red and silver. I don't know, but 
I'll take it. <laughs> I'll probably wear it. Maybe as an accent nail. I don't do that very often. Ooh, 4th of July. See, Christine, I'll probably do it for that. Ah, I'll probably do it that for that, actually, as an accent nail with some other pretty patriotic colors. Then the next one is the white. <laughs> the white curly I added because I was craving a white curly. Uh, I was really wanting Pampered Polish's most recent white curly from her collection. What collection? What release was it? It was Disney inspired. I don't think it was Encanto, but it might have been Encanto. I missed it. I sh I went on the site a couple hours later. The white curly was sold out. And her white curlies always sell out because they're awesome. So I was like, well, if I can't have that white curly, I'll just wear one of my own. And so, <laughs> and so I went looking through my racks and tried to find a white curly in my collection. And I don't have that many because I just don't wear them that often. But I found this one. <laughs> Cottontail Confetti from Colors to Carol. And it came out in a spring collection, but I think it's good for summer. It's got like neon yellow and green, blue, purple, pink, and red uh, hex glitters. And then it's got pink micro glitters and black square glitters and then holographics scattered throughout. So it is fun and happy and it's going to fill my bucket to wear it. Ooh, look at hexy bikini. That's pretty. I don't think I even showed you that. Did I? I don't know. It's sparkly. I like it. Then the last one was another one that was kind of just an impulse. I need to put this on my rack in case I feel like it. Um, this one's from Zoya. It's an untried. It's Storm. And I've heard this one is amazing in the summer because look at the hollow. It's so beautiful. And black is not something I would wear in the, in the summertime. But with this hollow, I am very tempted. So I'm going to try to wear it on a day where I feel moody broody. This will be the perfect polish for me. This gorgeous black. <laughs> oh, man. If you are still here, what a trooper you are. <laughs> Sitting through 101 minutes of Ray talking and gushing about polish. Thank you so much for joining me. This was a great way to start, start my weekend. I had so much fun sharing these polishes with you. Um, this is a collaboration video, so I have linked down in the description box all the participants. Some of them have their videos up already. <clears throat> Carolina, gotta love polish. <laughs> She has her video up. Probably some of the UK YouTubers have their videos up, but most of them will be uploaded tomorrow. So make sure you check that out. Um, check out those videos. I can't wait to watch them. They like put me in the mood to put on summer shades and they're just so inspiring and fun and a lot shorter than this video was. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for hanging out. Tomorrow I will post a new video. Rogue Lacquer is coming out with a beautiful quad. So that video will go up on my channel tomorrow. Um, I also have lots of other exciting videos coming up. I have a Bees Knees Lacquer review going up early next week. I also will be reviewing some of the polishes that are coming back for Polish Pickup Rewind. Um, an Emily Damali collection coming up. A... Favorite polishes for summer collaboration video coming up. What I wore in May. Oh my gosh, I could go on. I have a lot of videos planned. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I hope you have an amazing, amazing weekend. If you celebrate Father's Day, I hope you have a special and memorable day. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.